Well, good morning. Today is Wednesday, May 22nd, and today is my granddaughter Alyssa's 12th birthday. It was funny because yesterday I picked her up from school and I says, oh, tomorrow's your birthday. And she says, yeah, I'm going to be 13. And I thought, no, she's not. I says, you're not going to be 13. You're going to be 12. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, did I, did I miss a year? And she says, oh yeah, that's right. I want to be 13. <laughs> I always like when you're young, you always want to be older. And when you're older, you always want to be younger. It's, it's like like they say, youth is wasted on the young. I so agree with that. I'd love to go back and just relive my life and learn from my mistakes. Kelly over at Freedom in a Budget would be the very first person I would hook up with because that girl's got it going, let me tell you. she's uh, And she's going to have some pretty smart kids too because they're going to be just as good as her with money, that's for sure. But anyway, um, so Alyssa gets a song. She doesn't really watch, but maybe sometime in the future she might ro roam about on the internet and find me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alyssa. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Okay. Happy birthday, Alyssa. I love you so much. I just so love you so much. She always brightens my day when I see her. But it's also Carol Evans' birthday. She got to share the birthday with my granddaughter. Yeah. And it's nice because I get to sing two songs on one day. It's, it's always nice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carol. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I didn't start. I woke up this morning. I didn't get up until 10 o'clock. It was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. Oh, I heard the chimes. We have the chimes, which you guys always hear. I never seem to hear them. I'm just so used to hearing them in the background that I've become accustomed to them and I don't hear them. But I was laying in bed and then I heard my Beatles music playing on my clock. And then I thought, oh, I heard the chimes. And I started counting them. And then when it got to 10, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you're still in bed. And I look over Jim was still sleeping too. Jim went to bed at 11 o'clock. So, I mean, I went to bed at 2.30. Which still, well, seven and a half hours, that wasn't too bad. But uh, I woke up, I was starving. I don't know what it was, I was just starving. And I thought, well, I'll go for my walk, and then when I get back from my walk, I'll, I'll see about having something light to eat for breakfast. And I opened up the blinds, and it was pouring rain. So I thought, oh, no walk. So I went in the, took my shower right away, and I, when I got out of the shower, I was even more hungry. I don't know what the deal was. I just woke up famine. Fam, no, not famine. What, what's the word? Famine means you're not eating. Hmm. Anyway, you know what I mean. I was just starving. And I, was, I wasn't starving. That is not even a good word either. I just wanted to eat. <laughs> I just wanted to eat something. So I made some Kodiak pancakes, and it was a heaping a half a cup. So I counted it in my points as uh, a two-thirds of a cup because it really was more than a, it was more than a half, but it was less than three quarters. So I put it down as too much, I think two-thirds. Man, no, two-thirds is less than three quarters. So I made, I put the two-thirds of a cup and then I made the bacon and I was going to just have four slices of bacon, but then that would have only left one little lonely strip of bacon to go back in the refrigerator. And I should have just put that one little lonely strip back in, but eh, no, I made the I made the fifth piece of bacon. So I had five pieces of bacon, and then I sliced up a banana because it's ready to turn, and I don't want to let it go like the bugs, the bed, the, not the bed bugs, the fruit flies to get to them. And then you know what's sad about fruit flies is they're not very, they're that means that their eggs are in the fruit, <laughs> and then they just hatch, and that's where they all come from. So you're eating you're eating bugs when you think about it. It didn't stop me from eating them though, did it? <laughs> A little bit more protein. <laughs> so anyway, I had that. And then I had um, a grapefruit. And then a cup of tea. Well, I had a pot of tea. But I drink my tea black, so it didn't really matter. So I probably had three cups of tea. And then I thought I had sugar-free syrup in there, but I didn't. I only had uh, Aunt Jemima regular syrup. So I poured that in there, and I put a, little, I put a tablespoon of butter on my pancakes. Because I told you I was hungry. So um, I ate it, enjoyed every bite. Just enjoyed every bite, and um, and then when I got done, I tracked it. Twenty points, twenty points for that breakfast. So it means I had four points left for the rest of the day. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, twenty points for breakfast, and I ate it very early. I ate it at ten o'clock, well, ten thirty, ten thirty in the morning, and. Uh, so I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to, now I have to plan out the rest of my day because I can't eat, 
I can't go crazy. And I, I like I, I've told you on my other earlier videos, I'm not stressing so much about the points, but I am still tracking because I still want to see. And like I said the other day when I had the Wheaties, and uh, it ended up the Wheaties were nine points and the milk was five points. So it was a 14-point breakfast. But then I look back at some of my tracker, and sometimes when I went crazy with my fruit and the bacon and the bagel and all that, I was having a 10, 11, 12-point breakfast anyhow. And really, to be honest with you, I ate way more food, and I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed that big bowl of Wheaties because it was really good. And once again, I forget who mentioned it because I was just glancing through my comments, and someone had said to put the bananas on the bottom of the bowl and then put the cereal in. It takes up less space, so I am going to try that trick next time. And, uh, cause that seems like a really good idea. But anyway, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to track out the rest of my day. So I went in the freezer and I took out, um, a bowl of my, uh, vegetable soup that I made, which is zero points. So I'm going to have that for lunch with, um, probably just a glass of water. And then for dinner, I took out some chicken. So I'm going to make a piece of baked chicken. I have some acorn squash, which, so the chicken will be zero. My acorn squash will be zero. I'm going to have, um, some green beans which is zero and I'm gonna have like a broccoli and cauliflower also which is zero and then I'll have a glass of iced tea I'm gonna stay within my 24 points for the day and I'm gonna eat everything that I like and everything that I want and I just feel really good the only thing I'm feeling kinda of bummed about is that I'm hoping that it'll stop raining and I'll go for a walk later this afternoon but if not, I'll do some sort of exercise around the house because I can always find something to do in the house. If not, even just housework, that'll be exercise. But anyway, so I'm going to uh, drink some more, uh, drink some water now because I usually start the day off drinking my uh, 32 ounces of water. I already drank 16 ounces when I got up, but uh, I want to get the rest of my water in for the rest of the day. Don't get on the scale. I, I'm not getting on the scale because like I told you, I'm not worried about the number. And when I go to Weight Watchers this week, if I, if I stay the same, I'll consider that a loss. If I gain a little bit, I'll just consider it the, what I should have gained this past Saturday. Because like I told you, I really thought I was going to have a huge gain. And sometimes your body plays tricks on you and you don't it doesn't show up until the following week. So if it shows up this week, it shows up this week. But I know that I'm, I'm on the right track now. And uh, I'm going to make smarter decisions and I'm not going to stress. I have um, I did a video earlier today about uh, making setback, setbacks more productive. My goal is to make my setback more productive for me and learn from my mistakes. I'm going to set smaller goals. So my goal is to lose five pounds by July 1st. Uh, I think that's a very reasonable goal. Uh, I'll never get to Wonderland losing it so slowly, but you know what? I'll get to Wonderland. I won't get to Wonderland as quickly, I should put it that way, I won't get to Wonderland as quickly as I would like following this, this new plan of mine, but I'm more likely to get it because let's face it, um, it's been my plan since um, my birthday last year and if anything I gained 11 pounds. So I had to reassess my plans, my journey, recalculate my direction, look at my compass and see which way I'm going now and uh, no looking back. Just looking straight ahead. So, okay, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on today. And I, I know for 100% certainty that I'm going to stay on track and I'm going to stay within my points today. Okay, other than the word jobs, which I'm switching to goals, I'm um, using this as my quote today. Don't be afraid to give your best to what seemingly are small goals. Every time you conquer one, it makes you that much stronger. If you do the little goals well, the big ones will tend to take care of themselves. And uh, I'm making smaller goals. I'm, not, I'm going to be more realistic. And I'm going to live by this quote. Well, I never got my walk in. I uh, got busy doing stuff around the house. I did a couple loads of laundry. Cleaned out my uh, hummingbird feeders and put some new feet in for them. I stayed on track with my dinner. I had a piece of chicken with the green beans and some, uh, I had a corn on the cob instead of, I was going to have the broccoli and cauliflower and I thought, no, I want corn on the cob. So I had corn on the cob, some green beans, the acorn squash and the chicken and I had a glass of iced tea. I didn't really eat any lunch and uh, I had a big breakfast. I had, like I told you, I had the pancakes and the bacon and a banana and a grapefruit. I feel pretty good. I, I think I'm on track. I really do think I'm on track and... 
if I have to do this for a couple weeks and I don't have any weight loss, I think I'm pretty fine with that. I really am. I, I know it sounds like I'm trying to convince myself, but uh, I, I'm just feeling so much happier. I really am. So um, I guess I um, don't have anything else to say tonight. So I will talk to you guys in the morning.